Rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. Warren Buffett. Considering the success he has enjoyed throughout his career spanning over half a century, we should take these wise words to our hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, in this video we will uncover the one discipline that made all the difference in the life of the most successful investor of the 20th century, the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett. He is the owner of Berkshire Hathaway, which owns dozens of companies, including insurer Geico, battery maker Duracell and restaurant chain Dairy Queen. Currently the fourth richest person in the world, his wealth as of December 31, 2022 is estimated at $107.6 billion. The greatness of a nation is a chronicle of its innovators, doers and makers, who bring to pass the promises of politicians. To the masses, Warren Buffet is one of the many who represent the pinnacle of the American dream. Buffet's billion-dollar empires rests on the simple pillars of values investment, which he strongly advocates. Value investors identify undervalued quality stocks and invest in them for the long term. Two principles which you should adhere to in value investment are. 1. Buy what you understand. 2. Invest for the long term. Current achievements. At present, Buffet, 92, still remains the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway with a fortune above $100 billion and a pledge to give 99% of it away. So, let's look back at Warren Buffet's life to see what inspire him to be the man he today is. 2017 age 87. Though, Buffett's value orientation has precluded him from buying many tech stocks, this has changed in recent years with Berkshire investing in tech. This change reflects the quality of an investment genius which is the ability to change your mind to fit current economic conditions and invest accordingly. Here are three companies in which Berkshire saw enough value to establish billion-dollar stakes. Apple Inc. HP Inc. Amazon Inc. A decade back. The year is 2012. Buffet announces he has stage 1 prostate cancer and while the finance word is thrown in a frenzy over who his successor might be, he dismisses the cancer as a non-event. Warren Buffet underwent successful treatment while the successor speculation still goes on. 2008 Financial Crisis While the 2008 financial crisis took down juggernauts like Lehman Brothers, Buffett became the richest person in the world, with a total net worth estimated at $62 billion by Forbes. His diversified portfolio and some shrewd investments saw Buffett weather the recession and come out ahead. 1980s to 90s The investing spree continues with Coca-Cola and Salomon Incorporated being the prominent. Also, the last of the textile mills under Berkshire Hathaway was sold off in 1985. 1970s Charlie Munger, currently known as Buffet's right-hand man buys shares in Berkshire Hathaway and becomes its vice chairman. As the stock prices fall, Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio value also takes a hit and Buffett's net worth drops by more than 50%. Buffet's partnership dissolves and its assets are divested. Buffett chooses to close the partnership and liquidate the assets to its partners, giving them three options. Consider joining Bill Ruane's Sequoia Fund. Take the cash. Take shares in Berkshire Hathaway that Buffett now controls. From 1957 to 1969 Buffett Partnership annual returns averaged 31.6%, and his state grew to $25 million, 1960s. In 1961 Buffet's made his first million-dollar investment in Dempster, a windmill factory. Buffet would later on sell the company with a gain of three times the investment, $2.3 million. Buffet becomes single largest shareholder of Berkshire Hathaway. American Express gets hit with a crisis and share prices fall, Buffet sees opportunity and buys shares in the company. 1950s, the formative years. Now Buffet's wealth has gone up to $140,000, he opened up Buffett Associates Limited, investing $100k into this venture, his friends and some family members also invest in this company and their wealth doubles within three years. He creates and manages five more partnerships. He meets his mentor Benjamin Graham while studying in Columbia University. It is Mr. Graham's theory on value investment which had a great impact on Buffet. The theory calls for buying stocks when they are undervalued and holding them for a long period of time. This would later become a hallmark of Buffett's investment strategy. He later on goes on to work with Benjamin Graham, but comes back to Omaha as Mr. Graham retires. He moves back to his hometown and buys an unsuccessful Texaco station and also starts working in his father's brokerage company as an investment salesman. He gets married to Susan Buffet. By this time Buffet had saved up to 10 grand. 1940s. 
At age 17, Buffet and his friend start Wilson Coin Operated Machines. They buy a pinball machine for $25, put it in a barber shop and make $50 per week. They expand and a year later sell the business for $1,200. Buffet sells newspapers, saves $1,200 and buy 40 acres of farmland at age 15. Buffet makes his first investment in stocks, 6 shares in total, at $38 per share. The stock falls to $27 and then rises to $40. That's when Buffet sells his shares. However, the stock price rises to $202 within a few years, teaching Buffett an important lesson in investing that is patience. 1930s, The Game Changer While majority of people loiter around in their early years, Buffet during this time picked up a remarkable habit. His father owned a small investment shop, and young Buffett often picked up the books lying around the office. He read books like 1000 Ways to Make $1000 and used the knowledge gained from books and new ventures. Another book which made an impact on the billionaire's life is The Intelligent Investor written by Buffet's Columbia Business School Professor Benjamin Graham in 1949. To this day, Warren Buffet devotes a large amount of his time to reading and one could say that his reading habits made him the intelligent investor he today is. A mind needs books as a sword needs a whetstone, if it is to keep its edge. George R. R. Martin